Good evening and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask all present to please respect the instructions given by our parish ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a social distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times within the church. We will not have a collection at the offertory, but you can use the boxes provided at the entrance or exit of the church, or you can donate online at the parish website. Thank you for your continuing support as your donations help with us with the operating costs of the Basilica. At the time of Holy Communion, further instructions will be given, and at the end of Mass, we ask that you please follow the usher's instructions for exiting from the church. Our presider today is Archbishop Peter Hunt, and would you kindly stand for our processional hymn, 490, Like a Shepherd in CBW. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. This weekend we celebrate what is traditionally called Good Shepherd Sunday, and it's also the weekend when we have the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God that through our use of the water that was blessed at the Easter Vigil, which will be sprinkled on us, as a memorial of our baptism, he may help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received and to be the people of his flock. Lord God, in your mercy, be present to your people's prayers who recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption. For you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy, for through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race, and last of all, through water, Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received, and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly King God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were speaking to the people about the resurrection of Jesus, the captain of the temple arrested them and placed them in custody. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes assembled. When they had made their prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people and elders. If we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been, has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised on the third day from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, and has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among human beings by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our response to Psalm 118, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone has become the cornerstone. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, has become the cornerstone. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation, the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone has become the cornerstone. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong in this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Before Mass, somebody was saying to me, oh, you must be right at home. This is Good Shepherd Sunday. And I said, oh, I don't know much about sheep. I'm from a dairy farm. However, I did have one experience of sheep, and that was when I was on studies in Rome. Um, on our day off, uh, we'd often go out to the Colli Romani, the, the Roman hills. And one of my favorite destinations was uh, uh, at the top of a, a small, well, I guess you'd call it a small mountain, uh, that was uh, just outside Frascati. So you take the train into Frascati and then you'd walk up. And uh, the one day when we were up there at the top of this hill, just sitting and, and looking out, there was a shepherd down below with a flock of sheep. And the sheep were grazing. The shepherd was sitting there and he was playing his flute. Uh, it, was a, it was a lovely pastoral setting and certainly something that comes to mind for me when I hear this gospel passage about the good shepherd. I think it's wonderful that uh, we celebrate world, the World Day of Prayer for Vocations on the weekend that we also celebrate uh, Good Shepherd Sunday uh, because the two tie together so well. Uh, in our vocations, we're called to follow the Good Shepherd. And to do that, we need to trust him and we need to hear his voice. We need to be like the sheep who know their shepherd and who trust in him and follow him. In the psalm today, uh, we talked about, uh, the psalmist talks about how he has a steadfast trust in God, uh, very much like the sheep have in their shepherd, the good shepherd, uh, that is in the midst of trials, that the Lord is his refuge. And in the first reading today, we see Peter and, J and John at the start of their ministry after the resurrection of our Lord, having cure, uh, healed a sick man, they're being taken before uh, the uh, Sanhedrin, before the uh, council of the, of the people. And they, they trust in the Good Shepherd both in terms of uh, healing this sick person, in terms of feeling that they had the power through the name of the Lord Jesus to do it, but also in terms of their willingness to profess Jesus uh, and, and that Jesus is God in front of the very people who condemned him to death. There's a trust there that allows them to uh, do something that's perilous, uh, to do something that they know to be right uh, as sheep of his flock and as children of God. In our second reading today, John speaks about how through baptism, uh, which we uh, are reminded of through the sprinkling rite, uh, that through baptism we have become children of God. In our Mass, we always pray, Our Father, who art in heaven. And John goes on to say, What we will be in the future, we don't know yet. But the Lord is at work within us, or should be at work within us, if we are open to him and seeking to serve him within our vocations. I think on this Good Shepherd's weekend uh, and this World Day of Prayer for Vocations, 
Certainly it is a time for us to pray for those who at this point in their life are discerning their vocation, that they'll be open to God and his call and that they'll have the trust in him they need to say yes to whatever it is God is calling them to. But it's also a time for each of us to reflect on our own vocation and maybe how that vocation has evolved. Uh, you know, most of you were called to the vocation of marriage and now you're called to the vocation of grandparenting. So it's, it's changed somewhat. Our, our vocations evolve. And the challenge for us is to continue to follow the Good Shepherd as our vocations evolve and to, to listen for his voice. Um, and to listen for his voice in a tranquil and peaceful way. Uh, those sheep out in Frascati, you know, they could hear the shepherd playing his flute. They were very calm, very at peace, knowing that he was there and that uh, he would take care of them. And so it should be with us. And particularly at times when we're dealing with struggles, uh, when we're dealing with challenges, when there's things that are uncertainties in our life as individuals or as a Catholic people or as an archdiocese at this point, it's important for us to remember that we have that good shepherd, uh, to like the psalmist, trust in him, to trust that he is our refuge, and if we follow him faithfully, he will bring us through all the trials and tribulations of life in a way that uh, is ultimately for our good and that will bring us to our eternal reward with him in heaven. As we continue in our Mass today, we celebrate the Good Shepherd, we, and celebrating him, he becomes present to us. He speaks to us through the word of God that we've heard this evening, and he will, be, and, and he will tr transform this bread and wine into his very body and blood for us to receive. We thank him for the gift of his love and the gift of the grace that he gives us and the gift of himself and we ask him to help us to always be open to him and to his guidance to always hear his voice and follow in his way god bless you Let us together profess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus has assured us that wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he is present in their midst. Confident of God's presence here among us, we offer to him now our prayers of petition. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Peter, all bishops, priests, and religious, that they may have the courage and strength to be good shepherds to the people they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us may respond to our call to be good shepherds of one another, bringing the Lord's compassion and care to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all migrants and refugees, the poor and homeless, for those who are marginalized in our society, that they always know the care and guidance of Jesus in times of difficulty and distress, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel isolated and alone, for those who are suffering in any way as a result of this pandemic, 
that they may know the love and compassion of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the troubled areas of our world, especially in the Ukraine and the Middle East, that the peace of the risen Jesus will rest upon our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and recommended to our prayers, for Earl Kiley, Kevin Dormady, and Frank Doyle, that the healing power of the Holy Spirit will be upon all our sick and those who minister and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died recently, for Bridget Richards, Margaret Parsley, and William Nash, and for those who mourn their passing from this life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this evening, both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the end, ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Who Sonna in the high, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Through baptism we are God's children. And so now with confidence we can pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace, I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing.
Jesus took the bread he broke. Jesus shared the bread he broke and said, do this, do this in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured. Jesus shared the wine he poured and said, do this, do this in memory of me. I am the vine, you are the branches, and all Jesus took the bread he broke. Jesus shared the bread he broke and said, Do this, do this in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured. Jesus shared the wine he poured and said, do this, do this in memory of me. I am the bread come down from heaven and all Jesus took the bread he broke, Jesus shared the bread he broke, and said, do this, do this in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured, Jesus shared the wine he poured and said do this do this in memory of me all who come to me shall not hunger and all Jesus took the bread he broke, Jesus shared the bread he broke, and said, do this, do this in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured, Jesus shared the wine he poured and said, do this, do this in memory of me.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O oh Mary, you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. You know, sometimes when I pray this prayer at the end of Mass, it makes me wonder if part of the reason that we're doing so well here in Newfoundland during the coronavirus pandemic is because of the prayers that we're offering through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Uh, as you know, some other parts of Canada aren't doing near as well. And uh, India right now, 300,000 cases a day, it's uh, terrible. So we certainly need to pray. And the Pope has asked uh, that everyone pray the rosary uh, every day during the month of May, particularly uh, for the uh, intention of the end of this pandemic. Uh, and so Father Critch is going to have, uh, after the Holy Hour, he has a Holy Hour every day from 11 to 12 here in the church. At the end of that, he's going to have the rosary live streamed, on, uh, the, uh, live -streamed from here uh, every day during May. And I encourage you, if you can, uh, to pray the rosary uh, by yourself or, or, or with uh, here in the church or uh, live streaming, whatever, um, in May if you, if you can do so. I don't want to keep you over long or anything, but I didn't preach that long, and, and I have a story that I'd like to share with you about Frascati. Uh, in 2017, uh, the Canadian bishops made their ad limit a visit to Rome, and uh, when I was over there with the other bishops from Atlantic Canada, I shared with them about Frascati and, and this hill and uh, the beautiful view, and uh, a couple of them came up to me and said, listen, you know, we've got Sunday off, would you take us there? We'd like to go and see this. And I said, well, okay, sure, we can go if you like. I said, but listen now, when you get off the train in Frascati, you've got to walk about two, two, and two to three miles to get to the top of this uh, mountain, and it's all uphill. Well, that wasn't any problem. No, no, they could do that. Archbishop Curry was one of them. So on the Sunday, we got on the train, and we went to Frascati, and we get off in Frascati, and when you get off the train station for Scotty, you have to go up a, a, a long uh, row of, of stairs to get to the main pla uh, piazza from which you then go up the mountain. So I was, um, I, it's been a long time since I'd gone to Frascati and gone to the mountain. I wasn't that sure of myself, so I rushed up the stairs to start looking around to make sure I knew where I was going. And um, I, I wasn't counting the stairs at all, but apparently a couple of the guys did. And by the time they got to the top of the stairs, they decided they were not walking two and a half miles uphill. <laughs> so um, we went to the other end of the piazza, and I said to the guys, well, look, you stay here. They could see the road going up, and uh, there was just, it wasn't going to happen. I said, well, look, there's a taxi back there. I'll go back and see if I can get the taxi. So I went back to the taxi driver, it was a woman, it's the only Italian woman taxi driver I'd met to this point. 
And uh, I knocked on the window and she unrolled the window and I said, uh, do you speak English? Well, no, she didn't speak English. So in my very poor and limited Italian, I told her we wanted to go up this hill and there were cinque, there was five of us. Well, there was no way she could take all five at once, but she could take us in two trips. Okay, well, that was fine. So I got in the front seat with her and directed her to where the other guys were waiting. She couldn't see them from where we were. And as we were driving over, I could see she was sizing me up. And I think she was thinking in her mind, okay, he's not that big. If the other guys are a little smaller than him, you know, maybe I can get all five of them in here at once. <laughs> so we came around the corner, and there are the five guys. And Archbishop Curry, as you know, is a fair bit bigger than me, and some of the other guys were bigger than him. And as soon as she saw them, she said, ha, ha, ha. Molto grosso, molto grosso, non c'è possibile cinque. <laughs> so she made two trips with us, but we had a good time. The Lord be with you. Oh. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And I bless you in his name, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn this evening is 389 in the CBW. Jesus Christ is risen today. Jesus Christ is risen today, alleluia, a triumphant holy day, alleluia, who did once upon the cross, alleluia, suffer to Then let us sing, Alleluia, unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia, who endured the cross and pain, Alleluia, sinners to Demon sin. 